You are very welcome to our time of prayer in front of Christ, who is very much with us tonight as we worship and adore him in the Eucharist, in this very solemn exposition tonight. I welcome everyone who joins us and as we bring our worries, our cares, our concerns, our hopes, our joys in this particular Christmas season and as we savour the birth of Christ, knowing that it is so reassuring that God became like us. Let's begin our Shalom World Prayer this evening conscious that this prayer includes everyone who is on that journey of faith, who is maybe searching for faith, be struggling in faith as well, and also remembering our sick, of course, which is the very heart of our prayer this evening. So let's begin our prayer in earnest as we ask God's grace and blessing as we come before him conscious of his great love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Since we are in the Christmas season, and it's lovely to to really think about the, the depth of this presence of God with us, Emmanuel, it's important that as we begin the Christmas season in that we continue to truly think about, about the birth of Christ. So let's make, let me begin with a little piece of music this evening, a little carol, of course, which is perfect for this time of the year. So I'm going to begin with Silent Night, just a little verse or two, just to set the scene. Perhaps we might place ourselves at the entrance to the crib and behold the Christ child who beholds us and looks into our hearts as well. Silent night, holy night, holy sky, Bright round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in Sleep in heaven, silent night, holy night, Son of God, love your light. Radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus Lord at thy birth. As Lord at So let us bring ourselves all that we are our brokenness, our concerns, our real hopes for the future. Let's place ourselves before Christ. We are conscious 
that his birth brings you hope, forgiveness, the kingdom of God. Mary, undoubtedly, along with Joseph, pondered all these things in their hearts, I am sure. What would this child turn out to be? We know the unfolding reality of this birth of the Son of God and how that reality impacts on you and me. Stay a little moment longer at the crib. Let's place before Jesus all our lives, all that we are. Let's also place before him those who are connected with our lives. We pray for our families. We pray for our friends. We pray for those that we carry in our hearts about whom we are concerned. We pray for parishioners. But we pray especially for the sick. Remember those who are physically and or mentally unwell at this time. We pray for those whose illness certainly weighs heavily on their hearts and on those of the family. We pray for healing. We pray for renewal. Remember those who are perhaps awaiting results or those who are undergoing treatment of any kind. Remember those whose anxiety levels are very high as they wait patiently for news about an operation or are anxious about results that are pending. We keep those who have asked for our prayers very much before God. We keep them very much in his presence. We pray for those who suffer from the illnesses of addictions of any kind, whether that be alcohol or drugs, whatever it may be. We just ask you, Lord, to grant courage, strength, and to be in the hearts and minds of those who care for our sick. Our carers in the community, our, our frontline workers, especially those in health services. We bring all those that we carry before you, O Lord. We keep in mind, particularly this evening, our Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, who is extremely unwell. We remember him very much and keep him in our prayers at this difficult, challenging time. We ask the Lord to be with him to walk with him, to journey with him. We pray for peace, a healing peace which is needed, a peace that can bring healing to the woundedness in our world today. The 
woundedness that we see in the scars and fragmentation of war. So many wars being fought on so many frontiers across our world. We pray for an end to violence. We pray for peace the medicine of peace. Pray for those who have been caught up in conflict. Pray for an end to such conflict. A meeting of minds, a healing. You remember those two who are suffering within themselves, maybe experiencing spiritual or emotional storms, buffeted by life, perhaps a sense of exasperation. Pray, dear Lord, the Prince of Peace, born in Bethlehem. We pray that you will walk on those storms and bring peace and calm. We pray for a beautiful world which cries out. Lord, help us to hear the cry of the poor in all the manifestations of poverty and help us to hear the cry of the earth as well, yearning for healing. As we journey in these days of Christmas, conscious of the presence of Jesus, Emmanuel, with us, soon we will also experience the visitation of the, the Magi, the wise men, as they are often called. It's interesting that in this season, which we are celebrating, so many were preparing for the birth of Christ. Mary and Joseph, of course. The angels. The wise men were already on their way, intrigued by the brightness of the star. Some think they were astronomers. The shepherds, of course, are the first to hear about the birth of Jesus, poorest of the poor, an image which Jesus himself would cling to. I am the good shepherd. Did he not become the lamb of sacrifice? so that we might be healed and renewed and given a sense of hope and that direction to eternal life. Let's offer our lives all that we are this evening. All of us have our own stories to tell, do we not? About the perplexities of life, about our frustrations, our joys, the good things. Let's empty our hearts and minds this evening, casting all that we are into the hands of Christ. Born as a vulnerable child in Bethlehem, one who became only too aware of his mission of spreading the kingdom of God and the good news. One who would ultimately give his life out of love. Let's just take another little carol this evening as we bring our prayerfulness before our Lord. 
Away in a manger, nor creep for the bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby away. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, who look down from the sky and stay by my side until morning is night. So we place our sick very much at the heart of our prayer this evening all those across the world, in whatever context or circumstance, we remember them all and journey with a sense of solidarity this evening. As we approach the Feast of the Magi, the Epiphany, we are aware too of the, the beauty of that word. The word itself, of course, means awakening. For the three wise men, Melchior, Caspar, and Balthazar, there was indeed an awakening and a true understanding of the light, symbolized beautifully in the star. But the brilliance of the light of the kingdom of God brought by the Christ child, sent out of utter unconditional love of the Father, so impresses the wise men, that they return home by a different route, their lives changed utterly, their worries, concerns, perhaps given a new and different perspective, as they return to their kingdoms, having encountered a kingdom of difference, we journey ourselves. We place our lives tonight in the hands of Christ. Who loves us, who cares for us, who yearns to be part of our lives. Lord, help us. Sometimes in the busyness of life, we get completely distracted. Sometimes we are a little overwhelmed by the pressures of life and by the sometimes unreal expectations that we experience. We can also sometimes, Lord, not be entirely in tune. Even though it is the Christmas season, a time of hope, a time of joy, there are many memories that can flood into our lives that somehow make us not necessarily entirely in tune. But you love us as we are. You understand our stories. You want to be with us because you have gifted us the Spirit and the Holy Spirit enables us to talk with you, to open our hearts. Saint Therese of Lisieux had a beautiful image of prayer. She thought of prayer as jumping like a child into the arms of God who loves us and whispering into his ear our prayers, jumping onto his knees, the knees of the Father. Jesus is the human face of God, the Son of God. We pray this evening the prayer that Jesus taught his friends when they asked him how to pray. 
let us pray in the Spirit through the risen Jesus in our midst as we celebrate this Christmas season. Praying through the risen Jesus in the Spirit to God our Father. Let's weave all our sick, all of us, into this prayer of the sea. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Amen. And Mary, we ask you to, to intercede with your Son, whom you tenderly looked after as a child and journeyed throughout his home, along with Joseph. We ask your intercession. Bring all our concerns before your Son. To ask him to touch hearts, to help us all to truly experience that awakening, epiphany, Mary our Mother, Mother of Christ, who opened your hearts, your heart to God's will. Strengthen us through the intercession of your Son. Help us to follow him with all our hearts, as the shepherds did, the wise men, and Joseph and you. Lord, grant us your healing, grant us your strength as we journey in these days. The Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Living God, you breathe in us, and all that is inadequate and 